Welcome back. It's 842. Okay, you know we're in a recession. The economy, you know where it is. The housing market, you know where it is. People are worried. Well, the middle class is worried. The rich seems they think about things differently. Steve Siebold is the author of uh, How Rich People Think. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. Fascinating book. I was reading through it. Really short, succinct cha chapters and, and some interesting advice on, uh, on everything. Now, rich people, you also call them world-class thinkers, right? H how do they look at wealth and money differently from everybody else? Well, I think most of us look at money through the eyes of fear. That's how we, most of us are raised. We're educated all the way up through university and college. And the rich look at money through the eyes of abundance, possibility, oper very, in very positive terms, in other yeah. words. Right. Let me ask you this question. As I was reading through it last night, this, this struck me. Are the rich or the people who become rich and figure it out, are they wired differently or can anybody get a grasp on this and do it, do you think? It's a good question. I, I think they're rewired. In other words, I think they're wired the same way the rest of us are, but they, at some point they consciously change their beliefs and philosophies about money, and that's, the, that's really the foundation of their fortune. You spent years interviewing 26 million, years. Interviewing millionaires. Yeah. Is, and beside, is there a common thread throughout all of it with, with all of them that you spoke with? Yeah, I think it's their relationship with money. I mean, I think most of us have a relationship with money that would be parallel to a, a bitter, divorced person saying, I'm never going to open up to another person again. They're going right. to break my heart. And I think that's the way most of us approach money. And they look at it as opportunity and, and fun and abundance and all the good things. So they acquire it. All the things that I said in, in the intro, talking about the recession, unemployment, the economy, the housing market. I mean, most of us worry about it. We look at our 401ks and what happened and all that sort of thing. The world-class thinkers, the rich people see opportunities in all that trouble, yeah? It's everywhere because the foundation of every fortune is problem solving. And look at all these new problems we have. So the rich are, are reloading, but all of us can do it too. I mean, anyone can be a millionaire in, the, in America. There's no question. There's so many problems to solve. All right. All right. I, and I know we don't have time to, to go into your, your whole speech that you do. But how, how, can, how can the middle class, how can folk, normal folks just uh, find, find opportunities in all this? I think the one thing is, is learn the differences in the way you think as compared to the way millionaires think. And I think what people are going to find, that's what my book's about. It's 100 differences in thinking. But there are actually many more than that. It's, it's amazing. I mean, when I started doing this, I couldn't believe. I knew I was broke after a couple of years of interviews because I thought completely differently about money. And when I started changing my thinking, the results started to follow. And anyone can do this. They really can. Yeah. So you look out there, and, and I mean, I'm, let me just give an example. You look out there, and you see a depressed housing market, and that's an opportunity to invest. Yes? Exactly. All these new problems that, that are unprecedented. Someone's going to come along, I guarantee you, and become a multimillionaire or a billionaire solving these problems no one's ever solved before. And Why not us? And, I know, and I'm, I'm thinking it myself, and they're sitting at home, and they're saying, yeah, but you got to have money to invest. And one of the chapters you say is, don't use your own money. Use other people's money. Absolutely. Right? All you have to have is ideas. Wealthy people are looking for places to put money. I have hundreds of, of people I've interviewed looking to invest money with people with great ideas, with no money, just great ideas is all. That's, the, that's really what you need. The book is called How Rich People Think, written by uh, Steve Siebel. Steve, thank you. Hey, thanks, Fascinating. Russ. Been looking forward to meeting you. Thanks. Come you back too. anytime.